of these boxes have been here like a whole week and so um, I've got my notes all over the doorway here trying to keep track of everything. Thanks guys. Um, but um, I might have messed some things up so please just bear with me and forgive me. Um, so we'll get started. This one is and then afterwards I'll give you a few updates. We've got some cards here too we need to open. And then um, my hand is cut off. Oh, my head is cut off? Oh, well, I guess I'd rather have my hand cut off than my head, but I can raise it up one. There. Okay. Um, and then I had a couple things to talk about afterwards, so we'll we'll hit on a couple of things too, some highlights. And like I said, some of these boxes have been here for a week, and um, we'll just slowly but surely get things caught up again. This one, it says it's from Sonic Scent from Inglewood, Colorado. Portable digital recorder with accessories. Does somebody know who sent this? It's a handy now in your pocket. Oh, is this what I think it might be? Who's who? Did somebody send this? Well, I know somebody sent this. Mm. Do we know who sent this? It's a accessory pack. And it's a, this is a little adjustable tripod stand. And this is a handy recorder now in your pocket. It's, who did somebody? Is this so that, cause, so I don't have to write on my arms all the time? How do we react? Okay, we got to get back to this and find out who sent this. I've been such a naughty girl, I don't know where you've been. Okay. I'm going to keep this right out here so I can keep track of this. And I think that this is so I don't write on my hands anymore. Is it from a lot kick? Is that? It is, huh? Is is that pronounced a lot K? Okay. From Zoom One, it says it's from Sonic Sense. Sonic Sense from Inglewood, Colorado. Okay, it's uh, it's to record. Let me see here. Recorder. It's a recorder. Handy recorder. A voice to, recorder it's a voice. Recorder. I think it's a video or audio. I'm sorry. A audio, audio recorder. Oh, well, wait a minute. Design captures perfect stereo images with remarkable depth and clarity. Records for high resolution audio. Yeah. Send. Because I, I need to know. There it is. Andrew did send it. Okay. Super microphone for the video cam. Okay. Okay. We will, um, I used to would have to say, oh, I'd have to have somebody help me. Which I'm still going to have to have somebody help me. But I am learning fast on this computer. So Andrew, if you're on, we are we're gonna we're gonna get that set up, okay? Thanks, Andrew. We'll just leave that there and then I can get it out and look at it. That's pretty exciting. Thank you, Andrew. This was sent 
And I am so uh, ashamed of myself for not, I think this was sent by, uh, this, this came a week ago last Saturday from our friends that came from Michigan area. And uh, that I think was when I, I had to quit opening gifts. This is for our um, garden. Oh, you know what? I just realized what this has. I read this, uh, it's been almost two weeks ago. And it's one of my favorite sayings, and I haven't read it since then. And um, I'm just going to show it to you because I don't think I can read it. <laughs> this is one of my favorite sayings, so. So thank you. And I, and, uh, I know it's for gardens, but if um, it's okay, I probably will just keep this in my house. I'm going to put that over there. Um, this one is is uh, without even looking. I know that this is from uh, Kelly R. Because Kelly R. has gifted us a whole year of fruit once a month. And I was so tempted. This just came today. I was so tempted to open it up. But I was a good girl and didn't do that. You know, she sends, oh, now I see what it is. Honey Bell Tangelo. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, look at those beautiful tangelos. These are tangelos. These are from Kelly R. Isn't this a cool gift? Thank you so very much, Kelly. Yeah. And I'll... Oh, boy. They smell good and they look good. Kelly, I'll put these in our pen number one. And, um, oh, and it says how to eat a honey bell. These are the honey bell, uh, tangelos. Uh, I'm going to take a couple of these in the house for us, but we will share these with our, mm -hmm. with our volunteers. Do you want to put those in pen one? Uh -huh. And maybe minus two or three of them so we can take them in the house. Um, this one is from Colleen P. Colleen P. from La Mesa, California. And one of these, I think, has a name on the bottom that I'm supposed to pay attention to. So if I miss it, please. Holler at me. You almost got your nose snipped, dude. That's Tilo, always, always in everybody's business. Tilo, you're showing bad manners in front of everybody. This is, yeah, Colleen P. from La Mesa, California. It's got a little birdie on the back that says, thanks. That there, these these birdies you probably can't tell from there, but these are all 3D birdies. They're they're maybe you can tell they're they're standing out away from the tree. It says dear Jackie and the FFR crew, thank you for taking care of these lovely kitties. I am so pleased viewing the center and wish our local feline rescue was run like yours. I have two sisters. Calico named Jan and Cindy. Oh, they're both Calicos named Jan and Cindy. Jan's the longer hair of the two and my wide body jumbo jet as she outweighs her sister by two pounds. She's the smaller one too. Cindy's my lap kitty and Jan follows me everywhere I go. They're my fur babies. I've put together a box of goodies for the center. Oh, and she says even her husband gets attention from Jan. Hope these can be of use. Thanks for providing a home and love for all the kitties. And this is Colleen P. Oh, maybe we have pictures. Oh, yes. Here's This is Jan. 
Isn't she pretty? That's Jan. This one is Cindy. Another cat. Another calico. And this is another picture. Of, oh, Cindy and Jan are both on there. Oh, you can tell Jan's at the top. She's got a little bit of a belly. Isn't that cute? And maybe, yeah. <laughs> Cindy and Jan there. You know, I love getting getting pictures of you guys as kitties, too. You guys all see ours, but we don't get to see yours unless you send them to us. So I thank you for that. And that's where I'm going to put that in there for right now. And what are you doing, huh? Oh. Thank you for that thing. Mm -hmm. I love it, love it, love it. Love it. I like it a whole, whole, whole bunch. Okay, what's the deal? What's the deal? Oh my goodness, we've got posty notes. And really good, cool posty notes. Big pages of them. And, oh my goodness, we've got even more posty notes. You guys know I'm the posty notes. Posty note queen. I was going to say the posty nut queen. And Karen, do you know where these go? Mm -hmm. And Octavia thanks you. We've got some um, bonito plates, which I'll put in the refrigerator and probably um, we'll use tomorrow morning. Did you realize these have kitties on them? No, mm -hmm. these fancy. <laughs> these posties are yeah. kitties. Kitty Santa Clauses. <laughs> oh, and look at this. The rest of this box is a chock full of kitty toys. This one, these will be a big hit. Look at the feathers on there. There's a whole bunch of those. Oh, look at these. These even have feathers on them. And the mousies. I bet you know they all love these. They carry these around in their mouth. And these are catnip toys. They're surfboard. And more, oh, look at this. There's just all kinds of toys in here. All kinds of toys. Lots and lots of them with feathers on them. Thank you for this. This is awesome. I know it looks like we get a lot of toys, but I'm telling you, with this many kitties, we go through an awful lot of them because they do wear them out. They chew them up, they wear them out, and they play hard with them. So thank you, and thank you for sharing your, your two calico pictures of your kitty cats with us as well. I hope your kitty's got some toys too. All right, we've got lots of lots of help here tonight. Focus, what are you doing, dude? This is from Susan B. Oh, I'm sorry, Picasso. This is Susan B. from Newport, Kentucky. I think we'll go up here. Oh, is there a card? I love cards. Friends of Felines Volunteers. You kitties are all so helpful tonight. It has lots and lots and lots of thank yous on it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just can't say it enough. Dear Friends of Felines Volunteers, and you know, we put, we'll put these cards up. Thank you so much for all that you do every day at the Rescue Center. It's wonderful to know that there are such caring people in the world. I enjoy watching the kitty cam every day, all day, every day. The kitties are irresistible. I grew up with a wonderful Dulu calico named Callie, but she passed away a few years ago. My allergies keep me from adopting one of your kitties, but I truly wish that I could. Thanks for all that you do. Happy New Year. Or you can tell I'm way behind. Sincerely, Susan B. from Newport, Kentucky originally from your neck of the woods and from Toledo. That's cool. Thank you, Susan. Hey, Karen, can you put these two? Down the hallway. Yeah, you could. Okay. Uh -huh. The sign, the picture there that's on the left there, Karen, the plastic, you can just put it on there. So Susan sent, we got some more toys. Oh, we got some.
some more feather toys. Oh, bird cage gift set. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Yeah. And I've never seen any like those before. And some kitty treaties. These are the kind that Anna Jane and um, uh, Putter really like. Stick those in here. I don't know. Oh. Oh, and this one's a snow globe gift set. Isn't that cute? How they packaged it like that. Thank you, Susan B. I appreciate that very much. You guys will have some new toys. Thanks, Susan. I appreciate it. This one just says, friends of felines, no return address. I need in there making, making lots of noises at us. Oh, someone must have, someone sent some more collars for us. Not sure who this is. This is truly an anonymous one, but there's all kinds of collars. Cool. We go as you know. We do go through collars. Here, Karen, do you want to Thank you, our anonymous collar giver. <laughs> he loves unique. He loves her. This one is um, from Terry K, who is uh, AKA Sweet Pea. And uh, these were some treats that Sweet Pea. She says, I finally got the long ago promised local treat sent from Yuba City, Yuba City, California. I am. She's a caretaker for her mom 24-7, and time just flies. So, um, Terry, or Sweet Pea, is from Yuba City, California. It sounds very interesting. I think we'll take advantage of these tabs. Put you to good work, little uh, girl. No, oh, it's my goodness. Oh, Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Please tell me these are people. <laughs> these are people, right? Local <laughs> treats. Yeah, these are local. These are walnuts. One of the bags came open, but we'll salvage them. We'll salvage them all. <laughs> these, are, these came from California. Oh, my goodness. And pistachio. I just heard on the TV today, pistachio has the lowest fat content of all nuts. I don't even, better not even look though. Karen, can you yeah. put these in your plastic bag? Yep. Sweet pea. Those are really good. <laughs> and the pistachios will tear out too. And, oh, we got a note here. I should have looked for that first. Mm. <laughs> says, here is the long ago promised treats from Yuba City, California. All of these, the people treats, I mean, are grown in local orchards and processed in our sun sweet plant. The walnuts are from my cousin's orchard. Mm. Enjoy. Oh my God. Isn't, isn't it good? Mm. You can tell they're fresh. Someday I'm going to load up my car and do a road trip with Ohio in mind. Just got to hug that twinkle and putter for myself. And this is from Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea, thank you. You know we all love treats here. And um, we'll make good use of the of the nuts for the volunteers also. Thank you. Yes, in one of the boxes that's marked on the outside, um, there's a whole bunch of something from Christmas. Oh, oh, my <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there's eggs in there. Anybody? No, no, they're all for those, they're all for the volunteers. Also, in here is some kitty treat or kitty food. And, whoa, and, oh, this is also cool. Plum sweet, dark chocolate covered dried plum 
bits. We'll okay. put those in a plastic bag for the kitties. But these are the I mean for the volunteers. These will go for the kitties. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't know all this other was in here. So we have three more of the whiskers. Check this out. These all came from her area. Um, cherries. These are um, sweet and tart, delicious, fat-free, and um, preservative-free, dried plums, California growing, and then these are those uh, dark chocolate-covered dried plum bits. Thank you. You know, just today I noticed our number one pin there where we share with the volunteers was empty, so now we've got our tangelos and our nuts and our fruits. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for all this, Sweet Pea. We'll get these nuts out of there, too. Okay, uh -huh. Where did it come from? Okay. Uh -huh. Unique, Dave. Um, sweet Pea's a uh, hug no, no, to um, Cutter. Those are really good walnuts. This box also came quite a few days ago, and uh, this was taped on it. Dear Jackie, some time ago, oh yeah, oh I remember this. Pat L. from Topeka, Kansas, had sent a box full of fleece fabric. Remember that? Since I sew, you allowed me to take it home to create something. The contents of this box are the result of two people who love FFRC and you very much. This is from Diane Mosier, or Diane M., our one volunteer. She was here today who adopted a Missa, who she said Missa sends a big hug. So this fleece had arrived and um, from Pat in Topeka, Kansas, and Diane took it home and um, sewed it into, let's see what she made with that fleece from Pat. Oh, you know what these are for inside. These are, these are part of it. This um, piece of furniture here, these pieces here will go in there just perfect. Those will be perfect. Look at all this that she made. So this all came from Pat. Oh, look at all these. Oh, my word. I didn't realize there was so much. These will all fit into those um, small cubby places. Because, like, what we do now is we stuff um, way too big of ones, you know, like these in there. So now we can stuff in the right sizes. Those are, mm -hmm. And I know Diane measured. I know she did that. Isn't that cute? These are the sheets and they all have fleece on the back. Real cool design. Love. Dyes flowers. Oh my gosh, look at all these. Wow. Thank you Pat and Diane. Yeah, these are be. This is awesome. You know, these are the sizes here. Oh, look at this. There's. She put a little. Looks like a little green kitty patch down there on the bottom of that one. These are the perfect sizes that we like also to send home with the kitties. Um, when they get adopted, I love to put a little fleece in their pen, their crate to go home, and it surprises me when they come back later for whatever reasons, whether it's to get an, um, the updates on the vaccines or um, to get another kitty, that a lot of times we see these fleeces come back in. So they do they do like them. So thank you, Pat and Diane. We'll put these to real good use. Do you want to put those in your room on the counter? Thanks. Oh, thought this was heavy, but it's not. This is from Richard C. 
from Phoenix, Arizona. Richard, you're real close to where my friend is, Kate, in Arizona. Richard C. from Phoenix, Arizona. Those other hammocks. Oh, is, did this come with it? Oh, this came with it. Yeah. This is for your lovely cats and kitties. Oh, this is Auntie Fee from we a web camera. Auntie Fee uh, from the UK. I love watching. Surely brightens my day. Love you all. This is that Great Escape cat condo. Whoops, wait a minute. How do we? <laughs> I feel like I have it upside down, but I don't, you know, and right before I got so busy, we had also gotten these. Kim, can you hold that one up? Do you see they're all Smart Kitty and Smart Kitty? And I had said I was going to put these two together, and I just um, ran out of time. So we will get all these put together here real soon. Thank you, Amy. You know. Yeah, because you connect the multiple units to expand. Yeah. Do you see that? I wonder if we can make all those. Yeah. Thanks, Annie. Mm -hmm. That is really cool. They love, they'll, they will. They'll love that. They'll love that a whole, whole bunch. I wonder if I better just get up to here. Okay, you guys have been so helpful tonight. Where'd you put my cutter? Mm -hmm. Aren't they wonderful? They just love to be in my way, <laughs> which of course we love. Well, this one I know went through Defiance Post, post Office because it says Hi Kitties on it, and I will bet you that Gemini did that. <laughs> this is from Amazon. Oh, good. We got some food. My sister Judy came in today, even though it's Wednesday, she came in today and rearranged all the food and um, she got uh, everything all put away. So this will come in handy. <coughs> this is a case of um, 24. Oh, and this is from Medic. You know, Medic sends us two cases of um, Fancy Feast every single month. So this is from Medic. And Medic and her mom is going to visit the rescue center again. I think it's February 20th, I think, is the right date. Karen, can I give that to you to put on the counter back there? Thanks, Maddie. There's one right here, down here, too. Look, there's a toy. We'll put that over here so it doesn't make too much noise yet. Mm. Oh, this is, this is also from Auntie Fee, and it says the same. This is for your lovely cats and kitties from Auntie Fee, and in in, uh, Auntie Fee is our web camera friend from the UK. I love watching. Sure brightens my day. Loves you all. And this is a case of Fancy Feast, which is chicken, and they love that. Thank you, Auntie Fee. I appreciate your support. And the food. Yeah, our cupboard was starting to shrink. <coughs> yeah. Uh, this one is from Amazon, from Kansas, Amazon. Whoops. case of uh, chicken classic fancy feast. So thank you. Appreciate how you um, are helping us restock our cupboard very much. And the kitties like it too. Is your new feet not? Yep. Is it juicy? Yeah, from what I can get so far. Yeah. 
Before we go any further, um, I'm going to catch up all this stuff here. And this one I got over a week ago, and, you know, usually I really don't get into the boxes. I really don't. But this one I did. <laughs> I really don't, but I did. Um, <laughs> this, because I, I, it was so interesting, it says, turn your favorite photos into real U.S. postage. And um, I'm not sure who this is from. We have we gotta find out who sent this because these are really cool. Check this out. There's two sheets of stamps, and look at this one. Can you tell who that is on there? It is. It's putter stamps. Isn't that awesome? Oh, putter stamps. Now let's check out this one. Whoops. Let me hold it still. A honey putter. Can you tell who this one is? Fira, yeah. Isn't that awesome? So we have putter stamps and Fira stamps, but I don't know who sent these. Want to see those? Yeah. Oh, and underneath putter it says best friend. Does it say something under? No, but she's got a flower border around yeah, it. Yeah, and on on Ferris she's got a flower but border. With border. The yeah. Aren't those awesome? Really, really cool. Can can I somebody maybe be a detective and find out who did that? Oh, I smell those tangelos. Oh, those smell really good. They good? Oh, I smell them. It smells delicious. Yeah, there's nothing on here to tell me who sent these. Put her on a postage stamp. Who did? I never knew they could do something like that. Yeah. Yeah, they're up there with the Elvis stamps. Oh, you're famous. No, oh, right. yeah. And Farrah, too. Yeah, where's Farrah? This one is from Dr. Dr. Robin. Dr. Robin F., who's from Bel Air, Texas. Oh, listen to this. This is from, yeah, it's from Dr. Robin F. from Bel Air, Texas. And she said, Dear Friends of Feline, someone gave me your calendar last year. I loved it and wanted one for 2012. Uh-oh. Um, I'm going to have to tell her that we're out of them. I will get a hold of uh, Robin and let her know that. So, Karen, can you take this and take this to the mirror? Yeah, the counter. Mm -hmm. And that way I'll have to let her know that we are out of those. Um, this is from Cynthia M. from Longview, Washington. I need my other cover. She said, somebody said, I have one. I will donate there. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Clem. So they donate one. Clem? Oh, Clem, you can't do that. Huh. Clem, you don't you want to keep yours? Will you? We'll talk about it. That's awful nice of you. Clem's always my lifesaver. I didn't get one. Hmm? I didn't get one either. Yeah, we made twenty-five extra of them this year. And Christine, yeah, Chris, Chrissy, mm -hmm. yeah, my own daughter didn't get one either. Kathy didn't get one. Um, we made 20, or not we, but Kate, Kate made 25 extra, and we still ran out. This says, Dear Jackie, FFRC and Amazing Kitties. This was from way back in January 3rd. Please accept our donation for the flooring materials you will need to beautify the home of your residence. We will be happy 
with whatever you're accusing and look forward to the results. I've had my eye on Siri for a while now and would love to adopt her, but at the moment going through career treatment, or, oh, I'm sorry, going through cancer treatment. When I am well enough, I would love to travel there and adopt her. In the meantime, if someone comes along and wishes to adopt her, by all means, let her go to her forever home. We totally understand. We wish you much success in 2012, and we love the morning feeding. Sincerely, Marcus and Cindy Ann, who is, oh, her, her new stream name is Bubbles Ladu. So this is from Bubbles Ladu, and our cateteri, if you could write that she sent a check for four tiles on the floor. So that's very, very nice. Thank you, Bubbles. I appreciate that so very much. That fell on the floor was sure a cool idea. I still remember that when, when you guys told me you sold the floor. Aw, the, oh, this is to Donna and Weasley from Gusti in Germany. Wow. Anything important? No. <laughs> from Do to Donna and Weasley from Gusti in Germany. Uh, oh. So, dear Donna hey, and Weasley, do. wow, time is to say goodbye. You brought light in my life for such a long time. For that, I will thank you from the bottom of my heart. I know we will meet with we will meet with many photos on Facebook, knowing that in your new that your new mom Lini, you will have a caring and loving one, I say. Have a good and funny life. Your loving Gusti from Germany. And Gusti sent some money for the vet for Donna and Weasley and the others. Thank you, Gusti. I'm not sure if you're on or not, but that is really, really, really nice. All the way from Germany. Thank you, Gusti. Um, you know, last week that Donna and my Kate, my friend Kate took uh, Donna and Weasley to the vet, and they didn't pass, which I knew they weren't going to, but we wanted to get an update on them. And now they're both doing really well, and I've got to make the appointment tomorrow um, for early next week to get them in for their travel uh travel physical. So Goosey, that will go for them because they will have been in there uh, twice now in the last week. And whatever extra we'll put on our bill there at um, our vet's place. Thank you, Goosey. Here's a postcard. And this is Dear Jackie and all my friends. I have had Oh, this is from our Patty. I have had a great time on my second visit to London. And by the time you read this, I will be on my way back to the USA. Looking forward to meeting more of my fans. Love, Patty. Aww. So that's our Patty. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. Kathy, can you take that and put it on our cork board out there? When you're sitting at the desk, the top left drawer, there's some push tabs in there. Oh, and here's one more, too. Um, this is from Janak, too. Hi to all at FFRC. This is from New Zealand. Yeah. Cat Henry the Eighth. That was cute. I live in a suburb of Napier. And this is a postcard from our beautiful city. It was destroyed by an earthquake in 1931 and was rebuilt. Hence the... Oh my, my accent won't be good. Aunt, Aunt Deco... It, it has a temperate climate, and I enjoy living here. I have become an addict since being introduced to the site, and you all do a fabulous job. I hope 2012 is a great year for FFRC. Love and hugs to all, and this humans and felines, and this is from Janet. 
sometimes when it goes through the post offices, they stamp things on it, which is why I have a little difficult time reading reading it. Hey, and flip it over and show the stamps to books. Where's that coming from? New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand. I love the stamps. My mom collects mm. stamps, but I'm not sure. She won't get those because they stay on the postcard. <laughs> Um, this one is from, oh, this is from our friend Larray, who is a webcam friend. Oops. I think these are safety ones. Ten top reasons cats are superior to people. Ten, they understand that the primary use of sunshine is for napping. Nine, have perfected water conservation by means of the spit bath. Eight, can jump up and run into the other room without causing a panic. How true. Seven, are not considered rude when they ignore people. Six, never have to eat lima beans. Five, lounging is their career and seems to be working fine to keep the food in the bowl. <laughs> Four, are capable of ignoring alarm clocks, telephones, children, doorbells, and sirens. Three, make you feel it's a privilege to stroke them. Two, they always know their innermost felines. you got to see the picture of that, too. <laughs> and one, they don't waste time shopping for and sending stupid cards to their friends like I do. <laughs> This would be beneath them. Just wanted to send something to make you smile. Cats really are good therapy, aren't they? You bet they are, Lorraine. I have and know every... I love and know every cat in the center. Thank you for sharing them with us. Yeah, you guys amaze me at, at how well you do know these cats. Hey, Unique, you want to post this up on the plastic on that... Um, uh, frame on the left. Oh my gosh, I think I forgot how to talk. Yep. This is from Cheryl L. from Portland, Washington. And it's a fat envelope. And it has a Siamese stamp on it. So Cheryl L. from Portland, Washington. Just curious. Oh, it says, how are you doing? Praying for you, hoping things are going okay. God bless you and grant you peace and comfort. This is from Cheryl Ann. Thank you, Cheryl. Oh, and there's some real cute notepads with Jay on it. Port Orchard. Let me check. Yeah, you're right. It's Port Orchard. Washington. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. Cheryl Ann, I appreciate that very much. Oh, yeah, this this is from our cat lady friend that gave us those at, um, donations when she visited here a week and a half ago. And um, she just says, thanks so much for taking care of my baby for me. That's Haskins that she adopted. And with love, Joni, or cat lady. And she says, make sure you get some of the pie and goodies out of for you. Trust me, I did. Yeah. And do you want to, where should I put the tape? Do you want to put that back there, too? This is, oh, this is from Connie S., from Franklin, Ohio. Do you remember her around Christmas time? She adopted Tukey. Yeah. Oh. Oops. Wait a minute. I'm, this one is uh, goes to my mama. My mom. So I'll put that up there. Thank you, Connie. I appreciate that. Oh, this one is for us. Oh. Okay. This is for Bushka and and for me. And it's from the Netherlands. This 
this is for Bushka. Oh, wow. I didn't see that. Check out these stamps. Aren't those cool? says, to Sweet Big Bushka, you don't know me, but I'm your biggest fan. This is from Hester, Bushka Love. <laughs> I, I think I've seen your name on on uh, the chat, Bushka Love. You may, you may thought you weren't popular like the Wee's, but I want to change that. I want you to get adopted. It's obvious you would be so much happier in your forever home with no kitty stealing your food. I would adopt you if I wasn't this far away. And Bushka Love is from Holland. My flow would have to get used to you, but often, but after a while, I know you would be awesome friends. Okay, enough daydreaming. Now for people. Look, oh, so she's writing this to people now. Look at this sweet round face and tell me you won't adopt her. Bet you can't. She yeah. may hit some kitties yeah. at feeding time, but that's what I call character. She's the sweetest purr around FFRC, if you ask me. Think about it for a while. Is she the cat you want? Call FFRC. She's waiting for you. Sweet Bushka, I did the best I could. Echo, echo from Hester Bushka Love. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. Aw. Karen, do you want to put that up, too? Mm-hmm. We're going to hang that up, too, and maybe we can get Bushka adopted. <laughs> Thank you. That's that's very sweet. I like that. I like that. Oh, this is another card from, from Patty from Southampton. It says, here is the picture of the bar gate that I promised to send. This was the side that the fun fair was when I was there. I'm sending this just as I am leaving for my next destination. When we get Patty and um, all the things back from Patty, I'm also going to put the Patty cards with them as well. Do you want to put that up there? Oh, listen to Einstein. This is from Gail J. from Sun City, California. Gail J. Listen to Einstein. Oh, look at that beautiful cat. And she's got Siri written on there. Oh, this is from our webcam friend, Peppy Le Pew. And for our cataterie, if you could write that she sent a donation. It says, I am new to your Ustream cam and love it and the work that you do. Can't wait for the new floor. Found the... New Year tree and Greg Santa and New Year's baby diaper. Um, thanks for the entertainment. Give or from Gail from Sun City, California. Use this however you need it. And Gail's webcam name is Peppy Le Pew. Thank you, Peppy Le Pew. I will definitely put your donation to very good use. I appreciate that very much. I'm glad you liked our Santa Claus at Christmas time. Oh, this is from Sherry Sherry R, our our friend from uh, Indiana, Indiana. Yeah, I think this is. Let me check. Yeah, Sherry. Sherry, I'm. I'm just going to keep this for me, and thank you for your card, Sherry. I appreciate that. You know, I just want to let everybody know that all the cards that we've received, um, I do take them back in, and I do read them all again. Even the Christmas cards the other day, we sorted through and um, reread re those, and... Uh, I just appreciate it. I'm a card person. I, I enjoy the cards. And I uh, know that I do. I do treasure them. Oh, this is from a kitty that we adopted out. You all remember Whiffin? Oh. Ooh, they changed the name to Griffin. It says to Jackie, just a note to tell you that 
tell you because I really know it's true. It's wonderful being friends <laughs> with someone like you from Whiffin, a.k.a. Griffin. Thanks for finding a nice home. I am behaving. I, dear Jackie, volunteers, kitten and cat friends, I was so excited about being in my new home that I couldn't sleep. So I was up checking things out and found the computer. So thought I would write you all a letter. I hope you didn't get in trouble. The trip home was great and my carpeted cat carrier. She opened the door for me and curiosity got the, got the better of me. This is a great place. I have a couple of windows where I can look out at the cat, the birds, and the squirrels. My only problem was I tried to curl up and sleep on the dining room table while she was eating dinner, and I found out real quick that is a no-no. I also can't climb on the counters, but there are so many beds, dressers, chairs, and windows that I don't mind staying off the table and, chair and counters. She turned the cat kitty cam on tonight. And as soon as I heard Jackie's voice, I jumped up on the chair to watch. So, I miss you guys and gals, but I hope you will all find loving homes like I did. I forgot to tell you, I have my own litter box. Don't have to share it, and that's really the cat's meow. Earlier tonight, she got up to use the bathroom, and I had a good time sliding down the back of the tub. She laughed so hard, I thought she'd better be dead. I have a nice footstool that looks west, and I really enjoyed the beautiful sunset tonight. She made a nice bed for me in the bedroom, but I much prefer sleeping on the end of the bed. So I just snuck up there, and she didn't even know it. Now the sun is coming up, and I think I better go wake her up. Maybe pull her hair a little, or maybe just curl up beside her. Good night for now, and I'll write again soon. Forgot to tell you, she said Whiffin was a baby name. <laughs> So she changed it to Griffin, which she thought was a better name for this handsome boy. According to Google, it says that Griffin was thought to be an especially powerful and majestic creature. Griffins are known for guarding treasures and priceless possessions. So I guess I'd better get back to the bedroom and guard my new mom. She is a priceless possession, process, possession. But she is learning real quick who is the boss in this household. I own her. She doesn't own me. Talk at, talk at you all again soon. And hugs and kisses to you all. Love, Whiffin, a.k.a. Griffin. Isn't that wonderful? Um, remember, Whiffin had come back, I think, two times. Not for any problems of his own. But um, they couldn't keep him. So it sounds like now he's got his real, real home. Can hang that up? Well, this one, I want to save. I'm saving these letters for something special. So at my desk, when you open up there at the top of one, it goes on the bottom shelf underneath all that stuff. Oh, like yeah. if you're sitting at my desk, straight okay. up, left side, bottom shelf. Okay. <laughs> but we'll hang that one up with Griffin's card. Uh, this is from uh, Anna Marie and Neil, and I'm betting you Shep, too. Uh, for our category, if you can put for Neil and... Um, oh, this is from Neil, that uh, there is a donation, and it says, oh, I love these letters from the, Mc, from the McBride family. Mm -hmm. Dear Headmistress Jackie, mm -hmm. I was curious about the standards that you have established for your finishing school for young girls. When I visited you in September of last year, before I adopted Vicky, which remember was Bandita, you inferred to me that this little blue-eyed lass would integrate into my household and would be a compliant and loyal young lady. <laughs> uh oh, yeah. I think I know where this is going. The Moss Academy has failed me. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised. Your faculty members, Octavia, teaches larceny. 
and Professor Badu instructs in the finer art of physical abuse. Vicky slash Bandita slash Shep must have excelled in both of these subjects. See, we were we were just hiding these things from you, Neil. Larceny. I discovered this week that Vicky has used my computer to write you a letter describing me as being not too bright and also <laughs> me being in insensitive clod. I do believe that Shep did say that. In addition, she has written to <laughs> she has written to FFRC checks from my computer and even signed my name. She did do that too, Neil. <laughs> I don't know how she gets those paws around my pen. Physical abuse. The little diva Vicky spends a lot of time sitting at my feet. I look down at the little blue-eyed girl, and she seems to worship me. Well, her looks are deceiving. She wants me to get up and feed her or pick her up or whatever else comes to her mind. She thinks I am her butler. When I don't react to suit her, she bites my ankles. I'm, I'm going to have to start wearing boots. If I wanted an ankle biter, I could have adopted a rabbit chihuahua or perhaps a badger. In addition... <laughs> In addition, you know that I am a retiring, easygoing, yes, dear kind of a male. Anna Marie, my wife of 44 plus years, has always been an aggressive and somewhat non-trainable female. Oh boy. My female Sheltie dog, Mercedes, was a loyal, adoring, and worshiping kind of girl. This was consoling, for I at least had authority over something. Vicky has changed all of that and trained the dog in her, her methods of attacking, attacking the old man. I have recently retired and would like to sit on the couch and watch a little football. Well, that has changed. The dog starts barking in my left ear. Vicky starts meowing in my right ear. And Anna Marie gets in my face. Oh, my. I thought that I was going to be king of my castle. The Moss <laughs> Academy has turned my home life upside down. I was wondering if I could send Vicky, Anna Marie, and Mercedes to your academy for one week of remedial training in the art of male worship. Perhaps you could transform this group into Neil groupies. <laughs> I am not asking much. If all three could be taught to call me sir or master, I would be grateful. I am enclosing a check to purchase more of FFRC. <laughs> I know the floor has been purchased. Perhaps the ceiling has gone up for sale. <laughs> um, please use the money any way you see fit. I am writing this check before Vicki has a chance to completely drain the account. With love and respect, Neil. <laughs> oh, I hope one of you guys are on. And thank you so much for this. Vicky, you just keep right at it, girl. You go, okay? You keep those people in line. Yeah, but give your mama and Neil a big old kiss for me, okay? <laughs> so our, if our cat and Terry could put down there from oh. Neil that we did get a, a check from Neil, I would appreciate that. Oh, I love these letters. You want me to I'm keeping those up here. Okay. Yeah. Um, should we do one more box? I'm so we'll grab that. We'll get. We'll grab one more box. There's going to be some more boxes for tomorrow night, but we'll grab grab one more. Neil's or uh, Vicky slash Bandita's other name is also Shep. Remember. Um, Neil wanted to name her chef. You want to know what color she is? Bandita. She was uh, uh No, no. She was like a um, Siamese looking kitty. Blue eyes, fluffy oh, hair. Oh, I know. Cute, 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 cute. Pretty. This one is our going to be our last box for tonight, and then tomorrow night we'll catch up some more because I had a couple other things to go over here too, and um. Cool. Oh, these came just in the nick of time. These are appetizers. There's three kinds mm -hmm. of appetizers. But um, I don't know who this is from. So maybe somebody could tell us who this is from. <laughs> you guys are too cool. Um, maybe maybe someone could come on. Yeah, the flame point. Thank you, Hummer. I'm, I'm not thinking straight. 
<laughs> you guys are too funny. Uh, yeah, can somebody tell us who sent the three appetizers? And these, we are not going to open the edges until we need them because Octavia definitely knows how to pull up the edge and get into there. She is a stinker. And those just go, yeah, back there. Do you want to even put them inside the cupboard there, Karen? Um, Why is there a lock on the cupboard? <laughs> Karen asked, why is there a lock on the cupboard? Well, Octavia, I did want to read this email to you all. It's from Patty. And I just got this today. And this email is from Patty. But um, Jill, Jill R. helped uh, Patty write it. It says, Hi, Mama Jackie and all my friends at FFRC. I enjoyed my visit to Severn in London so much that I decided I wanted to see more. I arrived on Thursday, 5th of January. I met Jill's cats, Dora, the black one, picked me up and shook me, and I had to be rescued. Domino let me play with her blue toy mouse. On Friday, I went to the park and played. Afterwards, I went to Paddington Station and had my picture taken with a lot of Paddington bears. Had lunch in a coffee shop. In the evening, I went to oh, Traf Trafalgar Square and had my picture taken in front of the Olympic clock. After that, Jill and I went to a concert. Wow, I, these guys have been so busy. On Saturday, we went on a three-hour coach journey to Norfolk. It was very windy, and we saw lots of birds. Sunday and Monday were rest days, stayed at home, and played with Jill's cats. On Tuesday, we went to lots of places. I saw the London Eye Wheel, the Tower Bridge, the Tower of London, and Shakespeare's Globe Theater. We walked across the Millennium Bridge and saw St. Paul's Cathedral. I still had some energy on Wednesday, so we went to the Houses of Parliament. Then I saw a soldier on horseback. Back in Trafalgar Square, I know I botched that up, I wow. sat with one of the enormous Landseer lions. Then on the way home, I sat on a statue of a window cleaner. <laughs> My next stop is in USA, getting nearer home. I had a shampoo and was brushed before <laughs> getting into my new travel box, a smart red one with Royal Mail written on it. I've enjoyed all my UK travels and can't wait to see where I'm going next. Love from Patty with help from Jill R. Photos are being sent separately in another email. So I think that that's the first time that Patty had to be be bathed. And um, <laughs> the travel box that I initially sent the Patties out in, Trufalgar. Trufalgar? Trafalgar. Okay. One of those has to be right. Um, I had taped and taped the outside of it trying to make it nice and strong, and it was a sturdy cardboard box, but I wondered how long it would last. If I'm not mistaken, I think when Jill sends Patty here to the U.S., which it sounds like that's going to happen now, is will maybe be like the 14th visit, I think 14th or 15th maybe. I might be off one or two. And um, when they, we will then be the 20th visit um, back here again. So it's getting closer to when they're going to be coming back to Defiance, and then we'll put everything together and um, and uh, share their whole whole story with you all. Um, I wanted to let you all know a couple things <laughs> that uh, Steve did receive your get well cards and your birthday cards and he's really enjoyed them. I think he was rather surprised and very, very pleased. Um, but he, he did appreciate all that. And I wanted to let you know that I've um, from the bottom of my heart have really appreciated all the cards that was sent to my dad um, while he was sick. And um, dad didn't get to enjoy all of them, but my mom has. Uh, the ones that came later, uh, I've given every single one of them to my mom. And she's, I just saw them again today in a pile on her table. And she's read every single one of them. And I think it makes her feel good that uh, Dad was loved by so many. Even though you all didn't know him, you many of you have seen my dad. And um, he loved being here. 
he loved the kitties and just liked sitting right there where Kathy is and watching everything going on. And uh, some of you have seen him on Sunday mornings come through here and eat breakfast with us. So mom has enjoyed all the cards. Um, we had played the game, I think a lot of families do when they have a family member sick of remember this and remember that. And we did that a lot this past week while we were all visiting together. And we were talking about my parents enjoying the rescue center. And one of the things that I remember so much from my dad was him sitting here at the stool. And he loved, he really, really does like the kitties here. And when the kitties would run by him, he would poke them with his cane. That's when he had the cane. And I, you know, and he'd look at me with that goofy grin that he always had. And I'd say, Dad, you know, what are you doing? And and he'd say, well, it ran into my cane, or I was just moving it away from me, or, you know, something like that. And he'd grin, and another one go by, and he'd poke him over again. And he just always, uh, always liked to tease me. He was a big tease. So um, I appreciate all the cards. And I've got a few more here that had come in the last week, and I'm sorry I didn't get those. But I will give those to my mom tomorrow. And um, she will appreciate that. But I wanted to let you know that your cards have been very appreciated. And if Anna Marie is on, um, I really appreciate the Anna Maria, the, the blankie that you sent from you and Neil. I love it, and I appreciate that so very much. It means a lot to me. Um, and for the cards that I've been getting the last few days, I appreciate it. My dad is real special to me. Thank you, friends. 